guys in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up kubernetes cluster on google cloud platform before continuing this i suggest you to learn what is kubernetes and how it works for this we have already written a blog post on how kubernetes works and its internals so we suggest you to go through this once and then come back to install and set up the Kubernetes on Google Cloud Platform. So Google Cloud Platform provides Kubernetes as a service. So you don't have to uh, actually set up the master node and worker node explicitly. So Google takes care of the master node and all the configuration behind the scene. Let's go ahead and find where the Kubernetes container engine is. So in compute section, you can find Kubernetes engine. Click on this. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not including how to create a project in a Google Cloud Platform and uh, how to set up your uh, Google Cloud account. So we assume that you already have this. In Kubernetes engine, right now there are no cluster present. So we are going to create one. name your cluster as sample cluster uh, you can provide a description for it as well you can select a zone i am selecting usd is to 1c as of now then you have to select the version of gke so i am leaving it to default then you have to choose the machine type on which on which your cluster will run so here you can uh, choose variety of instances but as of now i am choosing the minimal one just for the demo then uh, whatever node will spawn up will have certain uh, os running on it so here you can choose that os uh, whether it be it a container optimized os or ubuntu so i am leaving it to container optimized one and then the size of uh, the node that means how many nodes will be running so uh, i'm leaving it to default to three so total cores will be there three cores and uh, total memory would be 1.8 gb now uh, you can uh, uh, select certain settings like automatic node upgrades automatic node repair I am leaving all these things to default and if you choose to uh, if you wish to change it then uh, do read the description over here and then uh, choose as per your requirement so I'm leaving all these things to default and uh, let's go ahead and create a cluster but before that uh, I suggest you to go through this rest equivalent uh, API call of this cluster so uh, this will give you a post call by uh, heading which you can create the cluster with a post call as well also you can use the google cloud command line tool and this will give you the complete google cloud command line tool re request to spawn up the kubernetes cluster let's go ahead and create the cluster Now it has started creating the cluster. It will take a while. Meanwhile, I'll suggest you to go through our uh, post in which we have explained the internals of Kubernetes. What is master node? What, uh, what are uh, worker nodes? And uh, what is API server, cluster store, scheduler, controller, and all the required stuff you need to understand regarding Kubernetes. It also have uh, what all steps happens when you deploy your application uh, on Kubernetes. So all the steps that happens behind the scene uh, is also covered in this section. Apart from this, uh, you can install and set up Kubernetes on AWS as well. So on AWS, KOPS is the tool that is used to set up Kubernetes cluster on AWS. So we have uh, written a blog post for this as well and uh, we have created a video tutorial as well. Ok, 
okay the cluster is still creating You can also uh, set up Minikube uh, for your local development environment. So Minikube is a smaller version of Kubernetes uh, used for local development. We have written a blog post for this as well. You can search it uh, with the keyword AppiChip. So we have written a blog post for this as well. Kubernetes cluster for local development with Minikube and there is a video tutorial as well so we recommend you to go through all these tutorials to understand the best out of Kubernetes let's see if our cluster is ready or not okay so it's ready right now if you click on this it has whole bunch of information about the cluster master node version endpoint is this uh, so this is the one which you can use to access uh, your api server and uh, all those information total size of the node master zone node zones network and all those stuff okay so uh, what i'm going to do is I am going to connect uh, to uh, G Cloud Shell. G Cloud Shell is getting activated. So uh, you can interact with your Kubernetes cluster using kubectl. So kubectl is basically a command line tool. Uh, which uh, you can install on Mac using brew install kubectl and I have already installed it uh, so the gcloud shell is being launched now let's run gcloud command to list the container uh, to list the cluster Okay, so this is our sample cluster which is running and it's showing all the related information. Now, uh, what we are going to do is you can connect to this cluster using a gcloud command which it already provides. You can copy this directly and uh, run it. So what this command is going to do is it is going to configure your kubectl to interact with your cluster now you can run kubectl get nodes it is taking a while okay so it has given all the nodes running and uh, now you can run all the kubectl uh, stuff which you want to kubectl get pods and all the stuff related to kubectl uh, uh, apart from this if you if you wish to access the dashboard of kubernetes then uh, what you can do is you can configure kubectl with this with this command on your uh, local workstation and uh, make sure that you have a, a g cloud configured properly because this command is nothing but a gcloud command so configure your gcloud first and then run this command this will configure your kubectl to uh, interact with your uh, kubernetes cluster and uh, open up a dashboard so after doing all those stuff you can run kubectl proxy which will start uh, a local server on port 8001 This will open up your uh, Kubernetes dashboard. So here slash u I will open the Kubernetes dashboard and uh, here you can specify the kube config or maybe the token which you can obtain from 
Ja. So here you can open the admin and fetching credential for kubectl so you can uh, open the cluster credential from here okay guys so this is it for this tutorial keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching